Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my September favorites for you guys. I don't have that much stuff actually. I feel like September, <laughs> I don't feel like I wore much makeup. It was so hot here for like, I don't know, a couple weeks. It was like 90 degrees and I'm getting towards the end of my pregnancy. I'm like, I'm done. I'm done with the heat. But today it's like actually fall and it feels chilly. I'm wearing a cardigan because I have to. We're making chili. I made pumpkin muffins this morning. I'm like, I'm like going all fall today. So I've been like craving fall, but it's been like so hot outside. But anyways, okay, so today I have just some skincare things, a pair of shoes, a candle. That's very fall. Just not a whole lot, not a whole lot going on in September. Very, very minimal. Um, but I did want to mention this candle. It's so cute, by the way. Like it's got this like gold little label, gold little top, and then it's all white with like texture to it. It's so cute. It looks pretty sitting on your vanity or wherever. And the scent is pumpkin pie and vanilla. It smells so good. Honestly, I haven't even burnt it yet because I can just keep it open. It's very strong. Um, I can just literally keep it open and it fills my entire bedroom here. Oh my gosh, it's so good though. Um, and I got this at Home Goods and it's by DW Home. Um, and I did see, I think they have like three wick ones, like really big three, three wick ones. This one only has one wick, but oh my gosh, it's so, it's pretty. It smells good. It smells like fall. It's just like my dream candle. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and keep the top off there so I can I can smell it as we as we talk here. Eli and Jude are playing like really loud downstairs, so I apologize if you hear them. Okay, so we are actually gonna go into fashion first. I just quickly want to mention um, I've been like really into cardigans lately, obviously because it's pretty much the only thing that I can buy in my normal size and fits me and I just I don't know cardigans right now I just want like every single cardigan out there um, but this cardigan actually is from a boutique called Gray Monroe um, and it's just a really long kind of duster length um, kind of like creamish and black striped it's a little bit thinner which I kind of like because Obviously, it's been so hot here, um, but also on those days when it gets like really warm during the day, I can still wear this and not like sweat out, especially because I'm like, what, 33 weeks pregnant and I'm like, I'm big and I just don't want to sweat um, and it's just not that cold yet. So I really, I've been loving this cardigan. It's so cute. The other cardigan I actually got from Gray Monroe is so cute too. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's a little bit on the thicker side but it is this a black in like camel cheetah print. It's so cute, oh my gosh. I haven't worn it yet, um, but it's really thick, but it's not itchy and it's not like, it's, I don't think there's any wool in here. It's just like really soft and like kind of like squishy and just like really, really cozy and comfortable. Um, and this one doesn't go as long. Um, it goes probably right past the butt. So I can still wear it with leggings and everything, but I just thought it was so cute. I love the print. I like that it's kind of like a print, but it's neutral. It kind of looks a little 90s to me. I don't know. I really like it. And then the other thing that I got from Gray Monroe is these little earrings. Um, they're just very simple little gold bar earrings and they're only 10 bucks. They're so cute and I feel like this is something a little different than just like a basic stud. Um, they're just very simple but different. I really like them. Um, so I will link everything from Gray Monroe down below in case you're interested. They have a bunch of other, they have so many cute dresses and really cute tops for fall. So definitely check them out. I will leave them down below in case you're interested. If we're talking fashion. Let's just talk about the other fashion item I have um, here that I've been really loving this month. And they are these pair of flats. They're these little like mule slides. I love these. I have been looking for another pair of leopard shoes. I used to have a pair of leopard loafers from Target that I found on clearance for $5. I had those for like four or five years and I beat the heck out of them. They were like the best $5 pair of shoes I've ever, ever had. And it is really hard to find a good leopard shoe that looks good and not cheesy and holds up and looks good on your foot. Cause sometimes it could be like a little much, 
but I really love the slide look and I like that these are kind of pointed and they have calf hair on them so they're really nice. I actually like the actual print of them because some cheetah prints or like leopard prints can be a little, I don't know, they look a little cheesy. These I don't feel like look very cheesy. They just kind of like jazz up an outfit and I'm super obsessed. Um, so I will link these down below in case you're interested in them. They were a little more, they're definitely more than $5, but um, I'm so glad I invested in them because I've been wearing them to death. My hair is like a mess, you guys. I can't even, I just want to like chop it off, which I'm actually getting my hair done next week and I'm so excited. Okay, so a couple makeup items. I just have two things. Um, I feel like with makeup this month, I literally have been going so minimal. I have not been wearing a ton of anything, and I've been doing literally the same makeup look every single day. I have not changed it up at all. Um, just because I just don't feel up to it. I'm really tired. The fatigue is back of pregnancy, and I'm just kind of like, eh. I just, I don't have time for it. But I wanted to share this bronzer because I have really like fallen in love with this lately. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer and it's a cream bronzer. I think it's called a bronzing base, bronzing makeup base. And I just love this. It's so easy to use and I love that it's a cream, but it kind of acts like a powder. Um, and it just looks so natural on the skin. It's easy to use. I just love it. I just, I love this bronzer. I love the tone of it. Um, especially now I feel like my tan from summer has kind of faded. I just love it. It's so good. Um, so if you were thinking about this, I know it's kind of a lot of money for a bronzer, but if you're thinking about it, do it because it is like, it is an everyday product for me. I literally have been using this every single day. Okay, the next thing I actually, I did wear this in my fall makeup look, which I will link down below as well in case you missed it. Um, I've been wearing this a couple times and when I actually like wear makeup, which is usually not very often, <laughs> maybe once a week. Um, but I love this color for fall. It is beautiful. It is one of the Bare Minerals um, Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I think this is from the Statement line though. Um, they came out with like a Statement line and then all the nudes, like the, I think they call it Gen Nudes collection. Um, this I believe is from the Statement line, but it is a beautiful like plummy purpley color. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, I feel like they put it in the statement line, but I don't feel like this is totally a statement lip. Um, it's definitely wearable. Like it's totally for me, obviously I don't wear like crazy bold lips very often. Um, but this is like a little bit bolder without going like crazy on the lips. It's just so pretty. I just love the undertone of it. it kind of has a pinkiness to it, but it also has that like berry purpliness to it. So really like it. And I love the formula of Bare Minerals Liquid Lipsticks. They're like the best I've ever tried. Okay, this uh, next product is kind of skincare, kind of makeup. Um, you put it on before you do your makeup and I've really been enjoying this. Um, I think I also use this in my fall makeup look. This is the Ren Clean Skin Care Perfect Canvas and I love the packaging of it too. It's just so simple and sleek and it's really nice. Um, and it comes in this dropper and what it does is it's just like a clear, very clear kind of like thinner serum um, and you put it on after your moisturizer and it acts as it's pretty much a primer um, I actually keep this with my primers because I've been using this instead of like other primers and what it does it just kind of like I feel like it just kind of like smooths everything out it kind of acts very similarly to the Smashbox like basic photo finish primer that like kind of started it all I feel like. I feel like that was the first primer I ever heard of. Um, and it's kind of like that but very thin and a little more hydrating. And I feel like it's it's just so lightweight. You just don't feel it but it gives you kind of that smoothed out look. Um, and kind of a little, has a little tack, not much that it just kind of adheres to your foundation and like, I don't know, I just love it. I love 
this. It is so good. Um, and I know that it's good skincare going into my skin rather than like a random primer that maybe has some bad stuff in it. So I like that concept. I love the way it feels. I love the way it performs. It's just like a really good primer. Okay, last two things are skincare items and then we are done. Um, this is the Derma E Essentials Nourishing Rose Cleansing Oil and <laughs> I have literally that much left. Um, I have really been enjoying this. I think it's a great cleansing oil. I feel like it gets rid of all my makeup. Um, I have to work a little more on my mascara than maybe normal, but it still removes everything if I just, you know, work at it a little bit more. It really does just dissolve and banish all your makeup very, very nicely. And it's really affordable too. And I know it's good ingredients because it's Dermy. And I really like it. The packaging is really nice too. It comes in a glass bottle. Um, and I just like it. The one thing I will say, it actually really performs very similar to the Dermalogica pre-cleanse in that it's a very thin oil um, and that I feel like I have to use a lot of it to kind of get my whole face off. Um, so that's why I have like not very much left because I've been using the heck out of it. But it's just, it's a really good cleansing oil and it's pretty affordable too. Okay, and then the last thing I have is a cleanser by Pixie and I feel like Pixie products are very hit or miss for me, but this one is so good. I actually didn't expect much from it. I actually was just going to try it real quick and then see if somebody else wanted it, but I tried it and I was like, I love this. Um, it's called the Glow Mud Cleanser and it has 5% glycolic acid and aloe vera. The smell is like amazing alone. <laughs> it smells so, oh, I don't know. It just smells like very fresh and almost a little like herbally, I guess. Um, I don't know. It smells kind of very similar to the glow tonic, which I also love the scent of. Um, but it's kind of like a, like literally like a mud cleanser. Like it comes out like mud. Um, and it just kind of melts into your skin. I feel like it just keeps my skin bright. Um, I use this in the mornings and I just love it. I think it's a great cleanser. It's a really good cleanser. Definitely suggest it from Pixie Glow Mud, Glow Mud Cleanser. So good. All right, guys, so that is it for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you are not subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel. Stay a while. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.